Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and good morning. We're back at our workshop organization. Uh, we've taken a, a few days break here from printing our multi-board prints. That's these wonderful looking things right here. We know those are going to go up on the wall back there. They connect together. So we've been printing those on our Ender uh, 3 Pro. Uh, picked up an Ender 3 V2 Neo from a friend. I've been upgrading, doing some things to it. Um, and because of that, I, I've just not been printing uh, like I wanted to. I also picked up a, let me grab it over here for the big reveal. Um, on Prime Day, came up and I picked up one of these Sonic pads um, that I got to figure out. So because of that, I've been taking a little bit of time off from, from doing that. In the meantime, I figured out that I've got a problem. I've got one plug in on top of my workbench. Um, I got, uh, when I put it in, I put it, I doubled my plug down there. So I got four underneath, only two on top. Now, a little more forethought would have been great. I should have raised that up or turned it the other way. When I put it in, I thought that was going to be what I wanted. I thought it looked better being horizontal versus vertical. Um, I, I'm, I was limited to putting in a, uh, a single because of studs and uh, this way and then whatever. It is what it is. So uh, I got to come up with a way to get a little more power on my desk, you know, have a few more outlets. Uh, so originally I thought I was going to go with the old cyber power um, <clears throat> power strip mounted up. But then thinking about it, this thing, which by the way, cyber power, beautiful braided plug um <clears throat> but it's too long it, it'll take up so much room up here that it'll you know way too much room so that that's out of the picture it'll be used for something else it was like a 50 dollar um power supply i got for i think 18 dollars at home depot on in clarence i admit it i admit it i am a yellow tag shopper i just am I, they, they dragged me in. So anyway, going on Amazon, I came up with four choices here. Uh, as you can see, it's a little Tessin, that's how you say it, heavy. Um, we got a vertical power strip, which has 11 outlets and three USB ports, right? When you're talking the USB ports, you got to understand that most likely they're not quick charge ports. They're just, they're not. Um, this is uh, 5 volts, 3 amps, 2.4, max per port. I'm going to, you know, just to find out, I'm going to plug my phone in and see if it says fast charging. So there's that. Um, what's cool about this one is it's a retractable cord. So the cord goes back in. We'll check it out in a second. Next one is just one that lays on the table, I think. Um, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, maybe, maybe 8. I don't know what's on the back side. I'll take a look. And then this one is just a five plug. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five with USBs. And it says five right there. And finally, there's this one um, as well. Uh, so let's let's start popping them open and looking at it here. So we'll, we'll start with the odd man out. That's this Quinley app, if that's how you say it. Put the boxes off to the side because one of these is staying the rest is going back so here it is um take that off of there oh look at that comes with the screw it was very important you know just thread that through there screwed in to the middle that way when you're pulling stuff out it doesn't pull the whole thing out i can tell you already this is probably not going to work um i'm probably going to get one two three out of it i'll gain one plug off of this and some usbs it does have a USB -C. Um, but I, I'll show you what I'm already thinking. All right, put that in there. All right, looks great. But I am not going to be able to plug anything into the bottom. Let me grab an old uh, cable here. Yeah, see, I know it. I can't, because of the height of my desk, which I like. I mean, this is a really high desk. I want to say it's like 40-something inches high. Um, I'm a tall guy. I like it high. Uh, yeah, so that's not going to work. Um, I'm not even going to bother 
trying the USBs in it because plugs are more important than USBs. Now, if it had one here and one here, I could care less about those down there, but it doesn't. So, it's, oh my God, it's going to be tough. All right, you're out. All right. It's also like 530 in the morning. Um, you need some coffee. Hoping today is a better day than my last couple because it's been a run the last couple days with the boat and the boat trailer and all that stuff. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we are ooh, we are looking at this one. So here's going to be the other. Gosh darn. My other problem is I want the multi board. All right. So that eliminates the bottom plug. We still get the, the second plug in there. Uh, I should keep this cord up here. All right, so let's see here. Do I get that? Yeah, so that still fits in there. Let me hit the pause button, grab myself. I'm going to zoom in. So there we go. That was weird, the ch color change. Uh, I'm going to grab a cord and see what it does for my phone. Hold on. <laughs> Silly me. I've been looking for my phone. It's early. Haven't had too much coffee yet. Been looking for my phone and I couldn't find it. I'm recording on it. Dumbass. <laughs> so I can't tell because this is not going to reach if, um, and my microphone's taking up the USB, if this is a fast charge or not. So let's pull that out of there. Um, so I guess that's an option for sure. Uh, like I said, it will add one, two. It'll add two plugs, one, two plugs, three plugs. So I'll end up with five total plugs in this area. Um, but what it does do, and, and part of the problem here is, I think it's going to mess up because the multi board is going to stick off of the wall a few millimeters. Yeah, see, I'm either going to have to, it'll look cool behind there, but the multi board doesn't sit flat. It sits a few millimeters off, and so I'm going to have to build a box of multi board around it because it's got to look cool. Um, or I'm going to have to get an extension for my wall plug to pull it off. I don't know. Choices, choices, choices. It, but it, it's a possibility. It, it is. Um, you know, sometimes, let's see. Uh, it says, oh, it says right here. I don't even have to look. Does not support Qualcomm quick charge. So it's not a quick charger. But it does go up to 2.4 amps, it said. So that's that one. Let's get this stuff out of the way. As you can see, my desk is already becoming a catch-all of things here. It's just stuff being thrown on there. That's why we're going with the multi-board. All right, moving on to the next one. Oh, boy. All right, so these two are a little bit different. Um, and really, talking price here... Um, the the first one, um, this one I think was the cheapest. I think this was like nine bucks. Um, this one was like forty seven. So I mean, I'm already thinking that's going back. So that's stupid. I think this was seventeen, and then this one was thirteen. But anyway, you know, as much as I don't want something on my desk, and that was the whole reason of doing the multi board, I'm kind of thinking. I mean, it oh, it has a power delivery. Uh, I gotta read the. I gotta read to see if that is. Anyway, I'm kind of thinking I might. I might like this because I don't have to change the multi board. Um, I can move it, you know, up and down, and then maybe I even create a holder for it in the multi board so I can pop it off when I need to plug something in or off. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plugs. That's a. Uh, Oh yeah, and it's even surge protected. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um, take that and put that to the side. Let's do a quick read here. Um, this is rated for our 1250 watts. That's good. Um, because I will be using a soldering iron and some train stuff. Uh, let's see here, USB-C. You know what I'm going to do uh, off camera? I am going to try it and see 
if it's a uh, quick charge and then I'll put like a little, you know, card or something. Hey, this is quick charge. I like that. That might be, we're gonna put that one to the side. And then finally our last one here is the big boy. I don't think I need 11 ports. I think this is more for a uh, office. Yeah, I can tell you already, that's huge. I mean, I like the form factor if it's just sitting in the middle. Um, <clears throat> see here, this comes off. That comes off. Cord comes out. That's nice. That's really nice. I don't know if I want to spend forty-seven dollars on it though. Where's the where's the card in here? Let's see here. Oh. What's that, a sticker? I don't want a sticker. My wife likes stickers on everything. Anyway, um, can intelligently detect and charge most USB devices. Uh, User-friendly. Nothing about... Nothing about whether or not this is quick charge or not. Anyway, um... I think it's just going to take up too. That one's going to take up too much space over there. The one I, the, this one, that I think I'm sticking with, is going to take up space. But I think I like that it's flat. I can use it in different ways. Um, this one's cool. It really is. Get this to go in. You just turn it. Oh geez, what do I do? Yeah, you just turn it and it pulls it in. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll be honest, cool does not mean it's going to end up in the workshop. Oh, geez. How did they do that? You know what? I'll tell you how they did that. Like that. Push that in, and there you go. All right. Anyway, so uh, talking about power delivery, I think we have our answer. I think it's going to be the Tessin cube here in the middle. All the others are going to have to go back. Thank you, Amazon. Um, all right, I'm Doug. I do stuff like subscribe. Hopefully you watch the whole thing. So that's really where it helps. Have a good day and stay tuned for the next, hopefully working workshop update.